Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and thank you so much first of all for 1.5k subscribers um, the channel is climbing at a crazy crazy rate um, so really really do appreciate all of you guys um, and I think some of you guys are probably writing your exams very soon so please do put the dates of your exams um, in the comments down below um, and let us know how you get on as well importantly okay so let's have a look at these questions so recently I've had an influx of logical puzzle questions um, and therefore I will be just attempting to crunch through a couple of them and I'm sorry that the videos recently have been a little bit shorter I've just been a little bit busy um, and I will be dropping the full walkthrough very very soon okay so let's have a look at this so this is a classic question you've got four people four costs four different things okay so let's see what to put down the middle so fishing rod model train garden chairs model train this is the name generally mentioned three times so I'm going to put the um I'm going to put so sheet music model train fishing rod and garden shit so i'm gonna put the items down the middle so if you guys are new to the channel here please do check out my earlier logical puzzle videos um which explain things in a little more depth in terms of how to use this technique to be able to solve these classic three variable questions so then you've got quentin ellery tess tyler okay the fishing rod costs twice as much as ellery's item so if the fishing rod costs twice as much as ellery's item so it's probably one of the difficulties you guys are having with logical puzzles remember it allows you to rule things out so if it costs twice as much as ellery's item it either costs five or six okay that means ellery's item doesn't cost um five or six right but it says fishing rod costs twice as much as ellery's item but less than tyler's so therefore it can't be the most expensive so it's going to be five okay and so therefore you know tyler's is going to be the one that's six Okay, so if you know Tyler doesn't have the fishing rod. The cheapest item isn't the model train or the gardening shoes. So it's this one. Okay, Quentin's item costs less than the model train. So Quentin's item isn't the model train and one other item. So if Quentin's item costs less than the model train and one other item, Quentin's must be three. So Quentin's must be three. Okay, so therefore Quentin's is going to be this one. Quentin's is going to be the gardening shoes. As you can see, we've actually got our answer even before we have to complete everything. Okay. And so this is one of the kind of like key ideas that I was um, talking to you guys about when it comes to these questions, which is that often you don't necessarily need to even complete the entirety of the logical puzzle even to get to the answer. Okay. Um, so here, Quentin bought the gardening shoes. He must have because, um, yeah, because basically Quentin is the person who spends three and we know that the uh, sheet music is not three and we know that here the fishing rod is not three either so if you guys like i said if you guys are um not familiar with this idea of how to use the two-way table please do go to my earlier videos on my channel so everything is quite clearly divided into playlists which are fairly accessible to, to um, look at and um, that's probably going to be the best way to explain things as, as i wanted these videos to kind of be like follow-up videos or i just am able to go through more questions essentially okay um so yeah i hope that all makes sense perfect so um, this is what I really mean about you've got to read the question as well, not only complete the puzzle, because often students get too caught up in trying to complete. OK, so on to the next question. So this question looks quite ridiculous, um, to be honest. Um, so let's have a look at it. So I think I'm definitely going to put the names down the middle. So banana, chocolate, lemon, melon, pistachio, gelato. And it says at the start they weigh this much and at the end they weigh this much Okay, in ascending order. So the start they weighed 14, 19, 22, 25, 29. At the end they weighed 6, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So the same amount of banana and pistachio gelato was consumed during the day. Okay, so there's probably a lot of possible combinations here. So it's probably best to leave this one alone for now, I would say. Um, so let's keep going. So lemon had the low. So let's here we kind of think we have to pick some of the key ideas. So this is going to be at the start of the day. It's the start. And this is going to be at the end. So it says lemon had the lowest weight at the end of the day. So we know lemon was here. Um, and can we relate lemon to anything? So it says the weight of pistachio was higher than banana at the start of the day. So the weight of pistachio was higher than banana, so it wasn't there. Higher than banana at the start of the day and higher than chocolate at the end of the day. So if it was higher than chocolate at the end, it can't be 17, and so chocolate can't be 20, and so banana can't be 29 if um, pistachio was higher than the banana. So chocolate was consumed in the largest amount and melon in the least amount, okay? Um, and so, so if you have a look at these options here, the amount of melon consumed is one-tenth the amount of chocolate 
consumed. So we know, was it melon was the least? Okay, so melon was the least and chocolate was the most. So if we have a look at some of these numbers here, so we know chocolate can be 17, 18 or 19. And um, chocolate could be 29, for example. It could be 18, it could be 17. But if you have a look at the numbers, so if I was saying that if, if it's going to be one tenth, right, and we've got whole kgs here. It makes sense, for example, let's say if chocolate was 10 kg that was consumed, then melon would be like 2 kg or 1 kg, sorry. That kind of makes sense, right? So I know that this is almost guesswork in a way, but it's intuitive, okay? So for example, the numbers that I'm seeing are 29 and 19 is what I think makes sense for the chocolate to be consumed. Because if it was 29 and then like, or 25 and 19, that, that would mean it would be 6, kilos of ch chocolate was consumed um but then that would mean that only 0 0.6 kilos of melon would be consumed which doesn't really make sense do you see so uh, as a minimum you could have at least one kg of melon consumed and so with the numbers you can see that that would kind of work out as well if we did eight uh 19 and eight okay i know that this is an unorthodox technique but remember these are unorthodox questions you can't necessarily always use the same idea so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say that chocolate was 29 um and i'm going to say that uh, at the end of the day, it was 19, okay? So then if we tick and cross here, and then I'm gonna say that the, um, what was it? The melon was, I'm gonna say the melon was 18. So you can see everything fills in quite nicely here. And therefore I'm gonna say the, just cross these out. And then so therefore, because I say the melon was 18 at the end of the day, it must have started as 19 because of that 1 kg thing that we were talking about earlier. And it says um, the, the, the weight of pistachio was higher than the banana at the start of the day. The same amount of banana and pistachio were consumed. So banana and pistachio consumed. So probably now we can even write down. So chocolate was 10 kg that was consumed. Um, the... Da, 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 and it says chocolate was consumed in the largest amount. So I think lemon has to be 14 because otherwise if it was 22, it would have been lemon that was consumed the most. Okay, actually we could have got that information from before. Yeah, so I think that's the key idea here. So therefore lemon was eight kg consumed. Melon was going to be one kg. And then it says the weight of pistachio was higher than banana at the start of the day. So pistachio is going to be 25. Banana is going to be 22. So banana goes from 22 to 17. So that's five. Pistachio goes from 25 to 20, which is also five. Everything fits. OK, so this is quite a challenging question, but I think it required both a concept of thinking about things. Right. So not only just doing the question, but thinking about things um, and also realizing some of these numbers. So actually, I realized that one of the errors I made is I probably could have figured out this amount because it told us lemon was six kg and we're told that chocolate is consumed the most. So if lemon was any of the other possibilities, it would have been the one that's most consumed. So lemon could only have ever been 14. And that would have definitely made my life a lot easier. OK, but once again, no, it was a tricky question. Um, but yeah, I hope this made sense. Um, but importantly, remember, one of the most important things to talk about the logical puzzles is you don't necessarily need to do every question. OK, it's absolutely fine for you to skip the logical puzzles and choose some of the easier ones to do. There will be some nice two way table questions. There'll be some nice other varieties of questions. You do not have to force yourself to do this. OK, perfect.